passenger train travelling north uh, between Dapto and Kembla Grange has collided with a Nissan van that was parked on the train tracks. Uh, police have declared a crime scene there. It's believed the van was stolen. Uh, the impact caused the front carriage of the train to detach and fall on its side and the driver was trapped for some time and had to be extricated by rescue workers. Uh, as once he was out, he's been taken to hospital with back injuries. Uh, the passenger, we had 12 passengers on that train and the guard and two other passengers have also been taken to hospital. Now, my understanding is, is the injuries are not severe, which is a bit of a miracle. Uh, looking at the damage caused by the derailment, uh, it's a miracle someone wasn't killed or at least seriously injured. Uh, part of the police investigation will be trying to establish exactly why that car or how and why the car came to be uh, left on the tracks. Now, a male was seen, a man was seen running from the scene just prior to the collision, and he's certainly a focus of the investigation. Uh, we'd like that person to come forward if possible. Do you have any more information about this stolen car, where it was stolen from Yeah, look, I can tell you that it's, uh, it's registered to a, a Flinders address in, in the local area uh, and stolen overnight, we believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we do have a witness. Uh, the description's pretty brief at the moment, so we'll uh, we'll try and release that during the day as we get get some more information. Do you have any understanding as to why the car was left there? What the motive might have been? Was it Look, at, at, uh, at the moment, it's uh, it's a bit speculative, and we've got detectives, we've got forensic examiners on scene, we've got detectives having a look into into the circumstances. Uh, it doesn't appear to be a case of a, a simple breakdown, and and the fact that someone's run from the scene prior to it uh, indicates it's a uh, it's either deliberate or some sort of misadventure driving the, the car in that area on the tracks. Is it believed there was just one person that fled or...? Yeah, no, we, we think the person was acting alone. We, uh, only one person's been reporting as, as running from the scene. Do you think that's just the car was left there just moments before the train was due to arrive? Or is there any timing around where the car was left there? No, that's, and that's certainly something detectives will be looking at. We don't know how long the car was on the tracks prior to the collision. Yeah. Oh, yeah, very much so. The driver would, would be in shock, and he's, he's got some physical injuries, so he has to. Um, we've got to make sure that he's, his back's okay. Uh, the rest of the passengers, I guess, yeah, they'd be shocked, but um, somewhat relieved that it, it could have been a whole lot worse. This one. Can you Yeah, I can only explain the position it came to rest. There's obviously a, um, a massive uh, impact. Um, the, the fact that, that, that caused the train to tip over. The, the, the car is a, a, like a Nissan van, a, a people mover type thing. It's completely destroyed. And the surrounding infrastructure, the rails, the power lines have all been brought down as well. This will be a, a massive recovery operation just to... Uh, uh, and it's going to cause some disruptions to public transport too, just uh, to get that back, back on track. Easy to remove these carriages from where they are, like Delays, yeah, it, it is. It's a massive undertaking. Look, it's, it's going to take um, all of today, and I expect uh, probably a, a couple of days there on too. At what speed was the train travelling? Do you have any sense of what the impact was? No, I, I don't know. But the train it was just prior to Kembla Grange Railway Station. But my understanding is it wasn't scheduled to stop there, so it would have been travelling at, at speed. We've heard it was sort of a train that usually carries tradies. Were the passengers um, asleep? The Impact, yeah, you look at the cameras when you yeah, yeah, sorry. No, I don't. I don't know whether the passengers were awake or asleep at the time. I haven't got that information. Yeah. You mentioned it was a miracle that no one was seriously hurt, but can you speak to just how lucky everyone on that track was that this wasn't a tragedy? Well, I was, I was speaking to some of the uh, the, the railway workers on site, and uh, when they see a train in that position, uh, they immediately expect fatalities so I, I think it's very lucky that uh, very fortunate no one was hurt.